All right, guys, as usual, I have to get to work in like just a second. So some fast things and then, then the thing I really want to talk about. So first of all, we knew that there were some DRM compatibility issues on Alder Lake chips. It looks like those are now completely resolved as long as you're willing to update to the latest software updates in Windows 10 or 11. And that's according to Intel. So we'll see if there's any reports that some of it's still broken. But hey, that's good news for anybody upgrading to Alder Lake chips. And um, yeah, just really glad to see that. Next little quick bit is that as, um, as just kind of confirming what I'd already reported, we are seeing more listings for the RX 6500 XT uh, being priced around 300 euros. Um, and so again, that's European pricing. We'll see what it actually looks like in the US market, but that is quite a bit to ask considering the extremely cut down features on this card, um, especially on a, I'm, I'm really interested to see if on PCI 3, a Gen 3 motherboards, if it matters that we're down to an X4 lanes instead of the cut down X8 on the 6600 or the full 16 lanes. Um, I don't know, we'll, we'll have to wait and see if those reviews matter. We also see some decreases in the video encoding capabilities of this card and decoding. So uh, anyway, we'll see how that one goes. Um, also, as reported, the 3080 Ti, not, sorry, not Ti, 3080 12 gigabyte is in fact real. We don't have an official uh, like MSRP pricing and who knows if we'll ever actually get one, but it does launch today. It, it is a real thing. The embargoes are lifted, but it seems like reviews uh, are getting delayed or something because I don't think NVIDIA got actual working drivers to the reviewers. We'll see how that story develops. So that's kind of interesting, but we're absolutely seeing officially confirmed models uh, from companies. This you know, embargo's lifted. This is a real thing. Uh, here's some MSI models. Here's some you know, 3D models. And basically, what should you expect from this? It's just a slightly beefed up 3080. It's not as strong as the 3080 Ti. It does have increased memory bandwidth um, and the extra two gigabytes of VRAM. And it's also going to have a few more CUDA cores. And all of this is gonna get it slightly better performance. The extra two gigabytes of VRAM is a good thing. Um, but it is going to come at increased power consumption. It's looking like the TDP is up to 350 watts instead of 320 watts. And yeah, we'll see what the actual pricing of this thing is in the normal market. And I've already done a whole other video where I rant about the fact that this is, first of all, the amount of VRAM we should have got initially anyway. And second of all, um, I I'm wondering if this just means we're going to see even fewer of the baseline Founders Edition 3080s and that this is just really a price increase excuse to their lowest end 3080 model so they can make even more money off of each of those chips that they manufacture. But anyway, let's get to the main thing I want to talk about today, which is not what I just clicked on. Here we go. So NVIDIA AI-powered DLDSR unveiled, along with Marty McFly's depth-based filters, including ray tracing coming to GFE, so GeForce Experience. So what is this? Is this uh, like adding DLSS to all of your games through the driver? No, <laughs> no, that is not what it is. Um, but it's still really cool. Now let me like Thanos snap myself out of existence for a second. So what is this? So uh, DSR is basically the ability to run a game at a higher resolution and then um, you know downsample that to your monitor's native resolution. And then while that is harder to run, your game will now look better because it's able to downsample from that higher resolution. So like run a, render a game at 4K even though you're on a 1080p monitor, that type of thing. So um, what they're doing now is through their driver and um, they're going to now be able to do this but at less performance hit using some AI uh, technology running on their tensor cores. So this will be limited to your RTX series of cards. Now what we're seeing here is basically running the game at 1080p native, you could run it at 145 FPS. This is, example is in Prey. And then uh, if you did a 4X DSR, meaning running the game at 4K and then down to 1080p, you could only run the game at 108 frames per second. But by using DLDSR, 2.25x, you're actually rendering the game at 1620p instead of at 4k. You're still downsampling to 1080p, 
But, but now your frame rate is basically the same as running it at 1080p native. And the idea here is that now your image quality here should be looking as good as it was doing the 4K downsampling because they're using the AI to assist this downsampling process. And overall, this is now going to make your game look a lot better with almost no performance, uh, performance hit, which to me sounds, well, honestly, really, really cool. It's just a shame that you can only run this on your RTX cards. Anyway, so that's what that is. And apparently it's coming in a very, uh, it'll be coming very soon in a patch. Now, can this run on every game? It looks like it should work on most games because this is being applied at the driver level. Uh, with their next game ready driver update. I believe this will be the same driver that's um, kind of coming out for God of War, which is coming out on what, the 14th? So in just, just a few days, uh, which is really interesting. Now you'll run this through your NVIDIA control panel. You'll go to your uh, DSR settings and you can now choose to, uh, instead of using the legacy scaling, which is the old method, you can now do DL scaling, same quality, two times more efficient is their performance claims here. Now, not only that, but like I said, they're adding some freestyle overlays here, uh, which should be able to add ray traced global illumination um, based on the ray tracing reshade filter and screen space ambient occlusion and dynamic depth of field uh, to your games through your GeForce Experience uh, overlay. So here's an example, boom, of this screenshot using um, not only the DLDSR at 2.25x, but also all of those filters added in. And the idea is that they're basically saying that you can take an old game and make it look a whole heck of a lot better without the developers actually having to, you know, do a remastered version of the game. You're doing this just through your GeForce Experience driver. Now, of course, we really need to see how this actually plays out in a real game um, and, and like, uh, you know, reviewed by actual, you know, humans. <laughs> but in this uh, marketing materials, it certainly looks very impressive. I'm excited to see this. I'm curious what you guys think. Again, this uh, does say that it's coming from a game ready uh, driver update that will also be offering optimizations for God of War, Rainbow Six Extraction, Hitman 3, all of Monster Hunter Rise, all of that. So I'm assuming this has to be the one coming pretty quick because God of War, like I said, is coming out very soon. We also get some updates to more G-Sync compatible uh, displays. Uh, officially here. Oh, by the way, I wasn't even going to talk about it, but PUBG is going free to play. So, hey, there, there, there's another little piece of news for you. Uh, sorry if this video uh, was a little bit more rambling than usual, but this was, like I said, one take, got to get to work, and I hope all of you guys have an excellent day.